Good morning everyone and welcome back to another home vlog. Bonnie has got the zoomies <laughs> this morning. She's so happy and it's so sunny and lovely. Oh my gosh, what a lovely day. Spring is definitely coming guys so welcome back to another home vlog it's been so long since i've done a little home vlog and i'm going to take you along for some bits and bobs today it's going to be a little bit miscellaneous but i'm going to just show you some things around the house i'm going to the gym this morning i'm also going to flash you back to what we did yesterday which was quite fun we went to our very first wedding fair venue show thing but you'll see that in this video and yeah just like give you some updates i've written a list of stuff i want to talk about today so big warm welcome back this video is also very kindly sponsored by readly who are a magazine subscription app that i absolutely love and i'm also going to talk to you a little bit more about them because you guessed it i'm reading wedding magazines <laughs> which is just so fun and so perfect just, yeah i'm just happy i've woken up in a really good mood but there's lots to do so i'm gonna feed the dog put the washing on empty the dishwasher all the normal stuff this morning then we're gonna go out for a quick walk before we head to the gym and that'll be the day so let's go good morning little one <laughs> it's been ages since they've seen you on camera yes it has would you like some breakfast oh okay would you like some breakfast oh yes come on then let me feed you let me feed you Come on then. We actually are running a little bit low on her wet food. We only have three left. No, two left, just for today. That's all that's gonna last her. So we definitely, definitely need to prioritize pets at home today. Something I've been trying to do recently is habit stacking, which is like obviously a habit that you already do. For example, like brushing your teeth, adding an extra habit like doing your skincare routine at the exact same time makes it easier to implement in your routine if you struggle so one thing i've done is my habit of feeding bonnie is obviously like a non-negotiable so i add another habit on top which is do the dishwasher or the washing machine and if i do that at the exact same time why uh, well obviously when i feed her and she's eating i might as well i'm in this area then it just makes it easy and it becomes an easier habit to implement into my life so definitely think about that if you already have something you do um and you want to make it into a new habit <laughs> then that's how habit sucking works essentially. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that, but let's feed this dog. Alrighty, the washing is on, so that's good. I have just been sorting out some of my bits I bought on Shop Disney. I did a whole reel of things I bought on Shop Disney, if you wanna go see that on my Instagram. But I've got some scissors in my hand because I wanted to put this on the floor. It is a mat for the back door. So my lovely friend bought me this, um, which I've had at the back door for ages now, like a year, two years maybe. I love it, um, but I want to put this outside at the front and have this one as like an inside mat. I got it for £17, I think it was in the sale, from how much? 25 So yeah, it's perfect. It's quite a good size at the back door there with my Crocs, you know, for going out into the garden. So I'm just going to take off the labels for this. Okay, Ben's just gone to walk Bonnie for us so that I can just sort out my week on a Monday, as I'm filming this on a Monday. I like to plan out the week, look at where I'm at. I've actually changed my planner three times this year, which is so embarrassing and ridiculous. And I still don't love any of the planners I've had, but this one I bought on Amazon uh, because I had a gift card actually, so it didn't cost me anything, but it's by the brand The Happy Planner. It's very pretty, but it's one that has like just a long bit for the day. So I've basically been breaking it up into home and work to do's and my schedule. I wanted to sit at my desk this morning and just quickly write out my to do's for the day. I've got a call with my business coach I'm creating a content report for a brand I worked with last week. Loads of house stuff and things to show you in this vlog. So, speaking of brands I work with, as you all know, Readly are one of my regular partners here on this channel. I absolutely love them. If you don't know, then get excited because Readly are a fantastic app. And I know a lot of you have tried them before. But if you love magazines and flicking through magazines, if you have any hobbies whether that's into crafting or golf or cruising there is something for you this has over 5,000 different titles to choose from there are uk and international titles there's newspapers you can bookmark and save on different 
pages. You can download magazines, which was so handy for when we went away recently on the long haul flight. I had loads of magazines downloaded. Actually, this is my downloads in this section here. So you can see the sort of things I was reading on the plane. And then if I go into my favorites, you can favorite your titles that you like to read. So everything is in one handy place, which honestly is so helpful. And I love seeing what kind of new titles there are and keeping up to date with things so i have a huge selection as you can see we've got crime we've got home we've got women's health your dog is a really good one if you have a dog uh, we've got oh foodie magazines so recipes and you can save individual pages for recipes as well so if i go on my bookmarks you can see i've saved a load of different things in fact over there I saved Showcase Your Shape, which is all about dressing for your body shape for a wedding dress. And as you can see, this is something I was very interested in. I absolutely love the wedding magazines. So this one is You and Your Wedding, but I've also been enjoying Hampshire and Dorset weddings because obviously that's local to us. Oh, I finished that one already. Um, but there's loads of others. So there's Surrey, Devon and Cornwall. So I'll read all of these because obviously they're included in the app for completely unlimited reading. And I just really am enjoying being in that engagement bubble of being able to look at everything, get ideas and just be excited about being engaged rather than having too much pressure on the actual planning and decision making. I can use Readly as a part of my like evening routine so I can have a little look at yeah what's trendy, what's what's going on. Um, I just absolutely love it. Look at this, it's just so handy. Like it's telling me which ones I might also like. I do actually have an exclusive offer for you guys. So if you'd like to try it for six weeks for free, you can cancel at any time. Then I will have that in the top line of the description for you. You can go and check it out. Lots and lots of you have signed up and tried it before. So it's worth it just to even give it a go and see if it's something you would enjoy. It's $9.99 a month, but like I said, you can cancel at any time. Let me know if any of you use Readly, if you're loving it still or if you would like to try it then let me know but big thank you to Readly because I can't wait to get into bed tonight and uh, flick through I've used it so much my iPad is actually <laughs> running out of battery so get that charging today so we can enjoy that later before I head on out to the gym and make my breakfast and everything I just wanted to flash you back to yesterday we filmed some clips for you that I thought I'd pop in this vlog we went to our very first wedding fair and where we live in Dorset there seems to be so many wedding events and fairs and showcases and it's a really lovely way to meet local businesses and suppliers, see what the venues look like all done up, listen to musicians, try the canapes and just be in that bubble. Like I said with reading the wedding magazines, a big part of being newly engaged for me is just soaking it all up and not feeling pressured or rushed into anything. Like we are really clueless on what we want, what we um, would have for a venue. Uh, we don't have a guest list or a date or anything and I'm quite happy with it that way. We do have like some suggestions that are maybe a little bit out of the norm as well. So we are trying to think of things that we really think would work for us. And it's been so lovely to have those conversations, but we thought we'd go down to this venue anyway, even though we knew it wasn't for us, it is stunning. I'm really hoping one of my friends gets married there so that we can attend as guests, but it was not for us. It's not quite what we want, even though we're not 100% sure what we want, but we know we don't want like a big venue. We don't want a big wedding. So we went down anyway. We met some lovely um, people and businesses. Um, one of my friends actually that I used to work with, one of my old colleagues, he has a business called um, the Photo Booth Bournemouth. So we had a chat to him. And Benji also saw a friend he used to play cricket with who's a photographer. So Bournemouth ends up being quite a small place and everyone knows everyone. <laughs> um, but... I just thought I'd show you anyway. It was at the Italian villa at Compton Acres in Paul, and this is how it went. I've always imagined doing this. I think it's a really good opportunity to see uh, venues and meet local suppliers and businesses and just get a feel for the wedding industry and what we want and don't want because truthfully, right now, we haven't got a clue and I think it would just be really good just to have a little look. We're not gonna be too long, are we? Well, no expectations, just let's have a look, mm. see what's out there. We don't really have a clue, really. No. Here it is, Compton Acres. This is so pretty here. Okay, so this is the wedding fair, and there's loads of little 
tables laid out and suppliers. Look how stunning it is out there, Bench. I think we can go and get an Instagram out there. <laughs> is it just orange juice in our glasses or is it Bucks Fizz? Oh, it's a mimosa. Oh. oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is beautiful. Can you imagine doing wedding photos around here? <laughs> Cheers, babe. Cheers to us. Cheers to <laughs> Macarons. Okay, there's an upstairs and a downstairs. We've uh, met a couple of suppliers. Seen outside. Look at that photo. Oh, what's so pretty. Oh, look, it's like hair and makeup artists and stuff. Wow. The pianist started playing Beat and the Beast for us. Can you hear it? So we've come out onto the balcony. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Morning, Thank <laughs> you don't. <laughs> this is the first venue. Yeah. I can see why you would get married here. Oh, it's stunning, beautiful. It? Yeah, really, really pretty. But I don't think it's for us. No. Otherwise we wouldn't be sharing it. I think something a bit more low key. Yeah. It would just be so expensive. Should we find out how much it is? I might be wrong, but I think it would be expensive. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing those little clips. It was a really lovely day. It was really nice to just soak it all up. Um, but like I said, we're going to head on down for breakfast, then the gym. Go, go, go. So much to do today. Got a call with my coach at, ele uh, no, not 11, 2.30. Uh, need to sort out this hair. And it's just another home vlog. I love filming these videos for you. So let's do the day. We stayed at a friend's over the weekend. So I definitely need to add that onto my to-do list today to unpack that. And Benji also has his own. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to pick it all up, put it on the bed. And hopefully we will both tidy up. What are the chances, eh? But it's a lovely day. So hopefully Benji's enjoying his dog walk with Bonnie this morning. It's been so handy having him around to do things like that just takes one thing off of my plate. Although, honestly, I really love the morning dog walk. I feel a bit sad when I miss out because I think it just sets me up really well for the beginning of the day, gets my body moving. It's really good to just, yeah, get some fresh air first thing in the morning. I'm aware that I'm gonna talk heavily about being engaged, weddings and all that jazz. So, you know, hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I was watching someone that just got engaged, but I wanted to ask you if you wear a wedding and or an engagement ring, do you leave it on permanently or do you take it off for certain things? Do you sleep in it? Do you take it off at night? Everyone I've spoken to does different things. I didn't sleep in it last night because I had a bath. So I took it off before my bath, put it on my di like dish. I've got a new little trinket dish by my bed. And then I just went to sleep and then put it on first thing this morning. But obviously I don't want to be wearing it to do any weights or anything in the gym. I think it'd be fine for cardio. But when I'm doing training, I don't know if that's the right thing, like hitting it against any metal and bars so I've been taking a little like travel jewelry thing <laughs> and putting it in my locker but then that's maybe not very safe I'm just trying to get my head around it all because when we leave the gym I want it back on my my hand but I don't <laughs> What do you do? I've been taking it off for showers and I take it off for swimming but yeah I at the moment don't know what I'm doing. Morning. Morning. Hiya. Oh this is a bit mismatchy isn't it? Not good fashion. What's not good fashion? Sorry, I just noticed that. It doesn't look good. You're coming to the gym with me today? I am. Benji just joined David Lloyd with me, so... There's no point me even going for what I do at the moment. Obviously, normally I do lots and lots in the gym, um, but... You're I, taking it easy, aren't you? After the hospital, I thought I'd just, like, just move myself rather than just sitting around and that. So yeah. It keeps me, gets me out of the house and keeps me, my head positive, so... Yeah, good for mental health. So yeah. we go together and then um, you'll have to keep an eye on, on when we are finished because we stretched together at the end last time. We did. Had a little chat with my PT. <laughs> but um, I think obviously people will probably be keen to know how, how you've been feeling if you wanted to share anything. It's strange, really. Yeah. Like day to day kind of normal, like, obviously tired, I get tired really easily. Like last night you went to sleep about 11 mm. and I was ready to go to sleep and then I had a little twinge and that was it my head was just whirring like what is it yeah it? trying to like predict future things almost like keep on having the conversation with the specialist that we haven't even had yet mm. almost trying to play out every scenario so that we can ask the right questions it's just weird and I, I understand obviously 
a lot of people are in a lot worse situations. Oh, it doesn't take away from the fact that you're it, not. When it's you and it's you don't know. I'm not used to yeah. being ill like this. Yeah. Like having things is. We're we'll all trying to navigate things, it, aren't we? It's things that you see on telly or on the news, and you think, oh, that never happened to us. Yeah, I know. And it is. <laughs> yeah, and I think until we go and see the specialist in London, like it's just just sitting and waiting but we are making the most of like time and being together and benji's been doing loads around the house we're going down to cornwall this week so How, we'll film that for you a house husband isn't it <laughs> he calls us a dad dog dad dad uh, dog dad sorry dog, dog dad. dad dog dog so, yeah. dad uh, household uh, husband uh, every back in call of body dog walks <laughs> it's great the feeding there playing with her yeah. And doing the cooking. I'm just, that's what I've been enjoying most, just cooking every... I said that in my update video. I think I've done every meal. Well, pretty much every meal so far. Yeah, you have. It's been such a massive help for me as well. And we, All the washing. I've got myself a little list on the board of things that we're out of that... Well, I normally do a shop on a Monday and I'll get by all our lunches because obviously we've got the HelloFresh dinners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously I'll get like a few meals for during the week and I, I just I love it. That's good. That's your thing right now. Yeah. So we've done cooking. This week we want to have a little look at garden furniture. We do you know what? We probably should just go to a garden shop too, or like a B and Q or something, go and look at some stuff in person because I feel like we're not really establishing what we want online. So that's something we're gonna do this week. Mm. Um and I have written a little list of we need to go in the loft. And if you want to run the hoover around the top floor, that'd be great. <laughs> yes. So that's what we're doing today. Um, it's silly stuff like doing it, running the hoover around, and then I just have to sit down for ages. Like I know, it's it's so stupid. I'm 27. I shouldn't be feeling yeah, it like this. this it won't be like this forever. And you're going to the gym. You're moving. You're eating well. You've got. That's a banana smoothie. You got a shake this morning. Is there protein in it? Yeah, a little half. A little one. Um, right, cool. And we still got balloons up. Look, we've got balloons. Some are survived. Some are going still. And all those lovely cards. Hang on, let me show you the card. Those flowers at the back are nearly going, but I just thought I'd show you all the lovely engagement cards. We've had so many. Everyone's been so generous. There's I really well. I really love cards. Like, I really, really do. Look, a lot of people got um, the pictures that we sent to our friends and family on the front, which is so sweet. There's a big one at the back for my friend Gary. Benji's mum got this one that says... Engagement, congratulations to special son and his fiance. My mum got a beautiful one in there. Yeah, it's been some really nice ones. Look, that was so sweet. Love it. Actually, this one's really cute. It says, and they lived happily ever after. My friend Megan got us this one, favorite couple. Anyway, love cards. Let me know if you're also a massive card person because I am and I'm not gonna take these down. But actually also, I got my first birthday card <laughs> um, from Benji's family because it's my birthday. When you see this, it'll be next week or the, the week you're watching. Actually, when's my birthday? Is it next week? It's the 24th, it's the same day Yeah, oh, shut up. <laughs> so this is my little jewelry case from Oliver Bonus. So put that in my bag. Got my bits, got a towel. And I also replaced my one litre water bottle. This is gonna sound really silly. Sorry about the um, washing machine, but um, I had a clear one of this and I loved it, but the lid got really dirty, like the straw, and they've changed it recently. So you press this little button and it pops up and honestly, it's perfect for trying to drink more water. It was a really expensive bottle, it was like 18 pound. But when you use something every single day and carry it with you and whatnot, I just think you can't go wrong because the amount of use you get out of it. Um, so yeah, that's my boring little Amazon find of the day, but there we go. I've also changed into a grey zip-up hoodie because I did not look in the mirror when I got dressed this morning. <laughs> I'm wearing a cute um, gym outfit actually. This is an m and gym wear and honestly it's one of my favourites. It's super duper soft, washes really well and um, yeah, love it. Honestly, I don't know what I did before colour catchers. This was white when it went in. Why is it black? Honestly, I was saying to um, one of my friends at the weekend that we were saying how much we love putting our washing out on the line and it's coming to that like, time of year where everything smells really nice, so you can hang it all outside. Oh, can't wait for that. I look so lovely, so red faced, but I've just finished my PT session and I really enjoyed it, it went really well. I just booked to come back on Saturday with him as well and I'm gonna come in tomorrow and do some cardio and just rebuild up a routine again and get moving because everything hurts. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say. We can't do that here now. I was gonna say, who is that coming towards the camera? How was your training session? Yep. It was. Good? Light. Oh, it's fine, that's good. Yeah, oh, I, can't do, I can't do anything more at the moment, so yeah, just moved myself around. Yeah. 
Good. I got the cricket on here as well, so I was like, keep an eye on the cricket. Which one are going to go again? India versus Sri Lanka, so obviously I had to watch it. Good. Right, well, I'm waiting for my coffee and then we will head home and I need a shower. I'm about to jump in the shower, obviously, but Benji and I recently bought one of these Ultimate Ears um, speakers. These are amazing. They are waterproof, so perfect for holidays. A little bit chunky, but not too bad. Pretty light and I love it. It's perfect for basically trips and stuff. So whilst we're not away, I've just popped it in the uh, bathroom and my... <laughs> favorite thing this week or the last two weeks three weeks has been playing the Encanto soundtrack I just absolutely love it I'm sure I'm driving Benji mad but <laughs> this is my favorite album right now and I know most of the lyrics are the first four songs so that's great um but it's just like such a good boppy tune you know we had the family Marika, we're on our way Oh, all the people are fantastical and magical. I love it. So that's what I'm going to listen to while I shower. I'm just popping on a little bit of makeup just because it makes me feel like I'm a little bit more put together when I'm working from home. I thought I'd let you know that we booked Disneyland Paris. If you missed my video last week, I did share that we cancelled our Florida trip. It feels like the right thing to do right now. If you'd like me to do a bit more of an in-depth video on exactly what we've booked and why and the planning process for it because I haven't actually gone through that in a, like many years because the last time we did Disneyland Paris was a spontaneous we drove there sort of trip on the way back from our skiing holiday I didn't plan anything we just rocked up we booked it on the way so this time I've got months to plan book some restaurants decide what things we're gonna do what shows I haven't seen yet so this week we're doing a bit of a spontaneous trip down to Cornwall. I will talk to you more about that in the vlog we make, but there'll be a little Cornwall vlog for you if you're interested. We've been down a couple of times, um, but not for a little while. The last trip we did was Devon, Plymouth, I think. was That was the last time we went that way, but um, Cornwall's actually not too bad of a drive. Depends how far you go down, but for us, it's about three hours. So I'm excited for that. So I do need to organise some stuff that I want to take down to Cornwall, hoping we can do some nice long dog walks and hopefully the weather will be nice. What do I want to do with my hair? Hmm. Should I just braid it? There we go. I've just braided my hair while it was wet, which is sometimes a little bit challenging. I don't have a clue if the back looks nice or not, but it's out of my face. And I've just downloaded Duolingo again so that I can learn a little bit of French before we go to France. I just think it's helpful to know some bits, but I have some basic French in my head, but it's just nice to practice, isn't it? So I'm hoping I might put this into my routine as a new little habit of learning a little bit of French. I think it'd be fun if I could do that. Okay, I'm back at my desk. <laughs> Funny in the corner there. We had some Chinese last night and there was some leftover chow mein. So I've got that for lunch and I'm just sorting out these photos. As you would have saw, we did the photo booth, so I've got those pictures from yesterday, and what I'm doing, he actually printed us two copies, so I'm gonna use one to put in our engagement box, which I'm gonna show you later, which is just lots of lovely bits and bobs, like keepsakes. Yeah, keepsakes from the trip and just from the last few weeks, and I'm actually gonna write on the back, our first wedding fair, 13th of March, 2022, and the location which was Compton Acres um, and I've got one on my glass board next to me because it's just so cute and then I'm gonna put the other one in the engagement box. Right so Benji's gonna do a little bit of a hoover up here so we're gonna pop the suitcases finally in the loft and we also have a couple of other little bits so as I said I'm gonna pop our photo in our box and actually before I go in this box we were very kindly given these champagne flutes from gettingpersonal.com they sent us these personalised Brogan and Benji, happy engaged, oh, happily engaged, 24th of February, 2022. And they're so beautiful, and we both agreed that we don't want to use them, which may sound crazy, but I just think that's such a lovely keepsake, don't you, Benj? Yeah, like, I think, I envision in, like, another house that we'd have, like, an open cupboard. Like a glass yeah, thing, and we can put them in there. Yeah, from there, but obviously, this yeah. house, the kitchen's not that big, so... We'll just keep them in the box for now. So we're going to pop those up with our other engagement bits. I've got um, this I bought on Shop Disney, which I thought we'd put on our Christmas tree this year. I actually have seen um, mini with an engagement ring, I think, in the yeah. US. There's a few other options, but this was on Shop Disney UK, and honestly, I couldn't help myself, so obviously got that. What do you think, Bonbon? Bon. 
No, she is <laughs> not. Never. Um, and then also, you might have noticed the Starbucks. We are here one as well. And this was obviously from Dubai. We couldn't really find any Almost. Christmas decorations, could we? No, Dubai ones. So we bought that. So I put those together. And then this little box was a gift from Benji's mum. It was just an empty box when um, we got it. And I decided to use it for our engagement bits. So it's become a little bit of a keepsake. This is the shell that Benji found as he um, I didn't mean to bring proposed. it back, by the way, so I know you're not supposed to bring shells back. I just stuck it in your pocket. It was in, in your pocket, pocket, wasn't it? And then... And Archie, we've, we we didn't realise so much that I found it in the washing machine. <laughs> the washing yeah, machine. so it came out of the washing machine. The cork from um, when we obviously uh, cheers our champagne. Um, we did accidentally take a room key as well, so got that. Oh, I even kept the packaging for the bottle because we obviously couldn't bring the bottle back but it's so lovely i don't think we showed this yeah. it says the moment we met i knew and that was what the box came in and then obviously there's like maps and tickets and whatnot in there oh, so i just I thought our cards Cards? No, I want to keep the cards up. I'll put the cards in his eventually. We'll I was actually going to suggest, I've seen people with engagement cards make like little scrapbooks oh, yeah. and stick yeah, all the cards in. So I think collage. I'll do that. Yeah, but I'm going to put this little photo in there. It's almost half past two and I'm jumping on this call with Laura, my coach. We're going to map out the rest of the month because I have so much content that I need to decide what goes where. Lots of things coming up. Exciting for you, but I need my time management to be really tight and I basically need her to tell me what she thinks should go where and when. I'm also trying to get back into front on my blog again and I want to do a review of the hotel we stayed at in Dubai so I really want to sit and write that. My computer's being so slow. Honestly, I've got my lovely new laptop and that's great but sometimes I just need my big computer, my desktop. I need to replace it at some point but not anytime soon because it's so expensive. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna do for an hour. Benji has just hoovered and it feels really nice in here now upstairs. And obviously we put the stuff up in the loft so I can tick off a couple of those things on the to-do list. So yeah, all is good. I've just come off the call with my coach Laura. We ended up being an extra half an hour because we just chit chat away. But we have planned out and mapped out everything I'm doing over the next two weeks. And it's just so mad right now. I'm trying to do loads and loads of new things and new ideas and new content. And Benji and I have got quite a few plans in as well. So I'm really excited about sharing all that with you. Um, but we've just decided as the weather is so lovely, I'm gonna go out on a little walk. It's sunny, but I don't think it's warm. It's not warm. Okay, well that's fine, as long as it's sunny. Just, just let me know. Okay, I might need a scarf, maybe? No, not that cold. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna go do a walk, I'll show you. Just getting Bonnie ready for her little sunset walk. Come on then. Good girl. What a good girl. So we've driven down to Stour Valley Nature Reserve and it's just a really lovely path. You can sort of do as much or as little as you like. Oh, is that actually the map of it? I've never even noticed that There's before. The river Stour goes up until the Midlands, I think. So we're just going to walk along um, around the corner. our very lovely dog walk it was so nice at that time of day between four and five o'clock when the sun's setting i love that it's not getting as dark so quickly spring is coming but uh, just stopped in pets corner because our local pets at home was closed it closed at five o'clock it normally stays open until eight but they've changed the time nine to five so need to note that so we come to pets corner and picked up a couple of bits i needed for bonnie we give her these really nice treats for her evening little biscuit when she goes into bed so these are really lovely she likes these they're low and fat and they um they have loads of good things about them but um yeah picked up a couple of feedy bits but we're low on her pouches her wet food that goes on top of her dry so need to go back to pets home because they don't, pets corner don't have the brand that we use and oh that sun that is well, that's bright. And Ben's just popped into co-op here to get some bits that we need. Uh, we're just picking up a couple of essentials because we have HelloFresh on Fridays and we're away Wednesday to Friday this week. So we come back Friday night, so that's good. So we'll be having our meals out. Um, but he's actually gonna go bowling tonight with a friend, which is great, because obviously he's in a lot and we're trying to establish a routine. And um, I think it's really great that he has evenings, which he never used to have, to be able to go and hang out with his friends. Look how pretty it is. Absolutely beautiful. 
and the moon up there. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Little things, eh? Curtains. Just you and me tonight, Bonbon. Bon. Just for a couple of hours. Yes. Should we go and see what your daddy's made us for dinner? Let's go then. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> so we had uh, an extra hello fresh this week because we went to a friend's house for dinner so benji's cooking it up for us it looks really good let me have a look what it is oh it's pork tacos yum i almost forgot to show you do you know what this mean needs it needs an avocado in it as well oh i don't really like avocado oh i do though but yeah nice little tacos for dinner Perfect. Well over an hour. We're watching Adam's vlogs, Adam Hatton. We're on number two of the solo trip. Then she's got football manager going on there. Bonnie's waiting for a cuddle. I'm finishing my Pepsi. Good girl, Bonnie. So I've just been at my desk doing a little bit of work. It's now half past eight. Benji's just come back home. And I've also just been printing out documents for our Disneyland Paris trip in this very cute Tinkerbell folder that I bought from Home Bargains of all places actually. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. And I'm gonna dig out my Cricut machine at some point and write Disneyland Paris and the dates. Um, but I've just been printing out some of the paperwork you don't have to have paperwork really these days for trips but honestly it makes me so happy and i like having physical copies so yeah i've got our eurostar tickets train tickets and i'm going to make an itinerary i'm going to sort that out i'm going to go and take my laptop downstairs actually and sit on the sofa with benj and then i'm just having a little look i'm going to make a packing list for our cornwall trip and i'm making a content report for one of the brands i worked with last week so i still got quite a lot to do really i think i'll try and do as much as I can in the next half an hour and then we'll start winding down for bed. I'll take off my makeup and do my skincare and then I want to read some of my magazines on my iPad. So that is what I'm doing. Whenever I'm in here and working from here, Bonnie always just sits and sleeps next to me. <laughs> She's such a good girl. Hello, sausage. You are so good, aren't you? You're such a good girl. All right, we are in bed and I'm just flicking through one of the wedding magazines and something I also wanted to show you with Readly is that if you have any links within the magazine, they are hyperlinks, so they actually work, which is so amazing. I had a penny for every time you've said to me, oh, have a look at this, in the last hour, <laughs> it's me just trying to watch some football. <laughs> and it's, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, look, I can't help it, babe. This look, has been it's... great. I also love playing the game of like, do you like this? Yeah. What do Which you think one, of that this? One or that one? Yeah. Oh, Unfortunately, so I don't think any of them dresses would fit me, but. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. That is a real shame. No, I love all these articles. Say yes to the dress with help from local suppliers. Oh. Because I haven't got a clue where to start, if I'm being honest. I love it. I just love all this. This makes me so happy. So, if you need me every evening, I will be here just flicking. If anyone has any suggestions of anything I should be flicking through or looking at, let me know. But for now, I've got my Readly app. And like I said, you can get six weeks for free. You can cancel at any time. That exclusive link will be in the description for you. So big thank you again to Readly for sponsoring today's video. It's been a really nice day. I've got so much more to do still tomorrow. I didn't get half of what I wanted to get done today. I don't know where the day's gone, but I feel like I have been fairly productive. But either way, I've um, I've had a good catch up with my friend Gary. We did a nice dog walk. Then she made a nice dinner. Had that great call with Laura. So the next vlog you're going to see, I think, will be our Cornwall vlog. We're going on a bit of a spontaneous trip down to Cornwall this week. So I'll talk more about that in that video, and that'll be next. Um, but if you haven't already, click subscribe, give this a little thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Adios. <laughs>